everyone. Welcome to Orgasmic Living. I'm your host, Patty Alfonso. How does it get any better than this? I am just back from my super quickie, awesome trip to the Philippines. Feeling a little woozy today, but I wanted to show up here and talk to you about something. So my question to you is right now, what is your yes? Hi, Jen. Hi, thanks for the hearts. <laughs> what is your yes? What do you desire? What are you lusting after? <laughs> what is it that you would like to create, to have? What are you asking for? And I want to play with this energy of desire and lusting after something and share with you a few things that I've noticed um, that may be stopping you from receiving everything that you're asking for. Um, and that's another question. Are you allowing yourself to receive what you're asking for? Are you lowering your barriers and just saying yes to your yes? saying yes to your ask? Are you giving the universe enough time to rearrange itself to gift you with what you're asking for? Because that's the thing, you know, ask and receive can absolutely be instantaneous. And there are times when the universe has to move some things around because of what you're asking for and the universe will right? But if you have to stay in your yes of what your ask is. I have a particular ask right now. And I've actually been noticing, I've had asks, asks um, on my list that I've had for like years and years and years. And every year, every day, every choice that I make brings me closer to what I'm asking for, right? So one of the elements here is to not ever give up on what you're asking for. Not ever give up. If you stay in the energy of the desire and the lust and the joy of what you're asking for, you can bring it towards you. And then you can allow the universe to show you what choices you need to make so that you can have what you're asking for. Back to the, that was a little, a little tangent, back to the original. Um, Allowing yourself to receive. Allowing yourself to receive what you're asking for. Allowing yourself to have a yes for your yes. <laughs> and the way this is showing up for me right now is that I have a, a particular ask that I have had on my list for a few years. And um, some things have shown up that have shown me that this ask is closer and it's very exciting and i i do i allow myself to be in the energy of that as if it is now as it as if it is happening now and so what i'm noticing is that um you know our minds oy, 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 they love to play little tricks on us and and tell us things that maybe it's not possible or it's not going to happen or maybe you're crazy or that's not ever going to be that way and you have to be really present with those thoughts that are coming up that are counter to what you're asking for okay there is nothing that can stop you but you and having that presence with those thoughts that come up and saying no like no Whatever it is that I need to be or do or choose to create what I'm asking for, to receive what I'm asking for, I'm going to be that energy. So it's not just like, what's your yes? It's also, are you being that yes? Are you so aware and present with what you're asking for? Do you so trust yourself? and what you're asking for and the energy that you're creating, that it doesn't matter what distraction comes up, you know, you know. So that's one of the things that I've noticed um, that we stop ourselves a lot 
We start creating excuses for things or start putting ourselves down or thinking that we're not enough or that it's never gonna happen. And like, whatever you put your energy towards, that's what you're gonna create. Your point of view creates your reality. So if you have an ask and that ask lights up your entire being, right? Look at my face right now. <laughs> As I perceive this ask that I have, it lights up your entire being. That is the energy of yes. And then something else comes in and start, starts to try to convince you that you can't do it, that it's not possible. Okay, that something else is a total distraction. So these two kind of play at the same time. Like nothing can stop you but you. And what are the distractions that you're actually paying attention to that are distracting you from the energy of the yes that you have? And stop it. <laughs> stop distracting yourself. What I've noticed is when you have an awareness of something, you have an intuition, you have like a psychic hit, you have like a knowing of something. If you allow yourself to embody that full yes in your whole body, then it will come to fruition faster and sooner. If you allow yourself to be turned on by that intuition, by that knowing, if you allow yourself to have the joy and the pleasure and the lust for it, you will draw it in faster, faster and a lot more easier <laughs> than if you paid attention to the things that are distracting you, okay? So no one can stop you but you, and you gotta stop distracting yourself. And allowing yourself to embody, okay? Get really present with your entire body and allowing your body to contribute to what it is that you're asking for. And how do you do that? When you let the energy of your ask contribute to your body, right? Receiving it, receiving the energy of it, receiving the joy that it gives you, receiving the pleasure that it gives you, and allowing yourself to just be with all of that throughout your entire body, all the way to the tips of your toes. <laughs> allowing the joy of that energy to, um, be present in your whole body and always staying present with that energy of what you're asking for and allowing there to be a gifting and receiving between you and your body and what you're asking for. Now, um, I'm super excited because another one of my big asks has been coming to fruition over the last uh, three or four weeks. I have a new program out called the Orgasmic Body Love Experience and I'm super, super, super excited about it. We are right in the middle of it right now. I have a, an amazing group of women that I'm playing with and very, very soon it will be available to the whole world. Um, but that was, that was an ask that I had, that program was an ask that I had a couple of years ago. And I always got present with the energy of that creation and how it wanted to show up in the world and what wanted to be created and the people that I wanted to invite to play. And even though it took a little bit longer than I wanted, cause you know, we all want everything yesterday. I don't know about you guys, but I want everything yesterday. Um, Allowing myself to stay present with the energy of it, say yes to it continuously, continuously embody the energy of what this was asking to be in the world and allowing my body to show me, to show me, you know, what choices had to be made. There were a lot of iterations of that creation. It's an online program, so I had to find a platform and I had to, there were all these multiple pieces that had to come together for this to actually come to fruition in, in this world, in this reality, not just out here in my kind of imagination. So, um, allowing my body to guide me and noticing when the energy got really expansive and light and joyful and following that energy. Um, so what's your yes? What is it that you have been asking for 
that you haven't been allowing yourself to ask for? What is it that you've been asking for that you haven't been allowing yourself to receive? What if you could receive just easily, lowering your barriers, getting present to those crazy, insane thoughts that aren't even real or true that are designed to distract you from what you're here to create? And you guys, this could be anything. I mean, maybe you want to create a relationship. Maybe you, there's a new business that you want to create. Maybe um, you want to create a better relationship with your body. What is it? What is your yes? What is it that inspires you and brings you joy and turns your body on? That if you just got really present with that energy and said yes to the energy, said yes to you and kept on saying yes. The universe occasionally has to rearrange a couple of things to gift you what you're asking for. So allow for that space, allow for that space and keep saying yes, keep drawing that energy towards you. Anyway, I will put a link in the chat and wherever else I need to put it so that you can check out the orgasmic body love experience. I'm super excited. I'm super proud of this creation. It is, man, it's like, I mean, look at my face. It's, it's, I'm super proud of it and I can't wait to share it with all of you. I adore you all. Thank you for being here. Tap into what your yes is and say yes, say yes to you. I adore you all. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.